So let's do that. Alrighty. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing in Multiple Dimensions, Part 23, Story, Part 2. In today's episode, we reflected how to approach our idea of this composition telling a story. One way is to have it be a series of larger movements that form a cycle. And we looked at one of our YouTube videos where we did that. Another way is to approach it as a holographic composition with a lot of bitty small pieces that kind of cycle through the themes. And so holographically, any one section of the composition could represent all four chapters of the story. And we've done that as well, and we showed that video. In the meantime, we decided to go ahead and we had made a concept sketch of what we were trying to do with this. Uh, void, the story is called Void Story, and has void, energy, distinguish, and extend. These are our concept diagrams for what we're trying to do musically. Then we went and created those uh, images like this. There's the circle, there's the uh, double curve, and there's a solid bar. And then we put those here into our animation machine. And for the void, the circle, we've just got a, a star field that's being driven by the microphone right now, as you can plainly see. And then for the energy, we have the little double curves, which are being driven by sound. But eventually, the sound, the, the brightness and the color would be driven by musical parts of the score, uh, which is this thing here. Uh, then our distinguish. Right now, it's just the star field with the double curve against the background. And finally, extend, which is these bars, which are coming from our one of our other concept diagrams we showed you guys about um, how to think about multiple dimensions. Now, these bars need to be uh, put into a longer vertical line. In fact, let's remind ourselves to do that. Um, we want to continue working with the animation, continue working with the void story animation. And in particular, we want to, e.g., put the, put the, put the extend lines in a, in one column one long column. And there's a reason for that, which well, you'll see when we get to that. So that got a lot of work done. So that's what is showing up here. We made four driven animation scenes for the four chapters of our story. And then we were able with our score to, uh, to declare certain areas of the work we'd done to date, the work area to be, uh, void for example way down here we decided to take the three four four three cadences way 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 here and declare them to be the void cadences and then we added uh, a backbone and then we added a polyphon so the backbone sounded like this and then the Polyphon sounded like this. And then when you put it all together with the cadences, then you get like that. So that was good. And then we also uh, picked out fast figures down here to work with energy. And here, the trick was, originally we just had the fast notes. But then we went and picked out uh, cadences that we had generated earlier and overlaid them so that they sounded good together. Uh, then we also, uh, we did similar things for extend but when it came to distinguish we had to go back to our source material over here and copy out because we really wanted the minor major 
distinction there. So uh, the bottom line is we were able to put all of that into a net compositional structure, which is at the moment 120 seconds. So what we're going to do now is play this for you, and that'll bring us home. And here we go. So that concludes today's stream. What we like about this is, as you can tell, we were able to follow our goal of using our work area material, which is all heavily annotated, what it is, um, two sets of work material and selectively pick out what we wanted. We also like being able to add the backbone and polyphon. As you can tell down here, this part needs a backbone, at least a backbone added, and probably a polyphon. We also like that we've got a four-chapter structure. We like how we're alternating the fast figures with the moderate cadences, and the drum is only for the fast figures at the moment, and we also know we need an introduction and an extraduction and, and other stuff. But we feel like we've got the blump of clay finally put on the potter's wheel and, 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 and are starting to roughly shape it. So now we've moved from grinding pigments on our palette and painting them on a canvas to glumping clay on a potter's wheel and shaping it, which is com completely appropriate for composing in multiple dimensions uh, since we are uh, sculpting as 3D. Acknowledgements to Waffles Girl came back to chat with us, Adlia. Fico uh, came on board and Blackstrish came aboard. We always appreciate your comments, your leads to other uh, tools to work with music. Um, that concludes today's stream. Tune in next time. Our ideas will be to further work with the score and also we want to start working with a lyric to go with the score and of course the animation. So do come back. Do take care and do keep on streaming.